Thank you, Mr Speaker. I voted Remain in the referendum, but just like the right honourable member for Don Valley, I completely accept the result and the fact that I stood on a manifesto committing me to implement it. Uh, the opposition, official opposition, have dishonoured their own manifesto with the U-turn they announced yesterday. I also accept that, despite its imperfections, the currently proposed withdrawal agreement is the best way we have of implementing the referendum result, and therefore the Prime Minister uh, can expect my support in the division on the 12th of March. But if that is not successful, uh, an extension strikes me as unlikely to propose any change. And given that we've ruled out a referendum, the only remaining way of uh, honouring the referendum result is to make a transition to WTO terms. And shouldn't the House confront that choice now and be prepared to make that decision? Can I, can I thank my honourable friend for the commitment that he has given? And can I say to him, as, as I have said to others, that it is the case that I think when people come to look at the withdrawal agreement, uh, a change withdrawal agreement, when they come to look at that, uh, it will be necessary for every, every member of this House to uh, ask themselves if they want to honour the result of the referendum. Uh, and in honouring the result of the referendum, whether they wish to do that with, by leaving with a deal. That will be the opportunity that is available to members of this House when we bring back a meaningful vote. And I hope across this House members will vote for a deal and for, leave, for honouring the referendum.